On, on that you point, know. Sister, you, unlike, for example, potentially Sir Terry Lee here at Tesco, you have moved around quite a bit in your career. And I've noticed also you've moved when things are going very well for you. So would you say that that is good advice for us on well, the way well, up? The latter bit, obviously, timing's everything. If you can get good timing, good luck to you. That's, you know, Mark <laughs> Carney will be a, you know, living proof of that. Yeah. Uh, he's just arrived <laughs> at the Bank of England. Things look pretty good, or better. Yeah. Um, when I left m and in whenever I left at 89, my father took me aside uh, and he said to me, you sure you're doing the right thing? You're working for a good company. You're in the pension scheme. You see, <laughs> you've got a steady job. You know, why are you leaving? I didn't really know why I was leaving. Just decided I wanted to go. I didn't believe all the propaganda. And uh, these days, of course, it's different. You need to get a good grounding. So my advice to people, when I used to talk to the graduate trainees, which I used to do every year at m and when they came in twice a year, I used to say to them, look, guys, there's 200 of you roughly in this room. In a year's time, 100 of you won't be here. That's partly because we won't like some of you, you won't like us, so you'll be some natural, there'll be some natural uh, selection. At the following year, there'll be probably only 50 left out of the 200, and out of that lot, we'll only like about 20 of you. And if you're any good, my advice to you is pick up some good skills, um, stay w close to us, but if you want to go out afterwards and get some other experience, we'll keep tabs on you, you keep tabs on us, and you can always come back. Mm. Because now we do live in a global world, we do live in a fast-moving world, it is important to go and get different experiences. And I said, you know, in my own case, I could never have done... I hadn't sacked anybody mm. when I left m and in 1989. I'd never recruited anybody. I'd never taken on a rental in a shop. I'd never closed a shop. I'd never seen a balance sheet. I couldn't understand... I mean, you know, I barely understood what cash flow was. Mm. When I went to work for Ralph Halpin, Sir Ralph Halpin as he is now, and he came and asked me a whole part of questions in the first three days I was there, I was terrified. I didn't know the answer to any of them. But I soon learned. No, but it's not a bad thing to move. I mean, you know, you've got to, in, in life, if you're, I mean, what do you need in life? I mean, you, you know, for, we could just, we're going to get completely off track here. If you really want to get on in life, in my view, you need to be warm and breathing. Now, you might say, well, that's obvious. But it, well, by warm and breathing, I mean you need to have something about you. That doesn't mean charisma. It doesn't mean some amazingly tw tw brain twice the size of anybody else's. It just means a sort of belief, self-belief, that, you know, you, you've got something to offer, which is my point, that if you can't find a willing... People, people who you fit in with and people that understand that thinking of yours and a culture that's similar to yours in the organisation that you're in go to a different place. Because right. at some point you will find that you are a square peg in a square hole, not a square peg in a round hole. Yeah. So, you know, if you're on the other hand really enjoying what you're doing, stick at it. So there's no hard and fast rule. You've got to follow your instincts, follow your gut.